Sorrel. I'm a young birder naturalist. I'm currently living in Edinburgh studying ecology. Well, I am half Indian, half white British. Uh, so I was introduced to birding through my uh, white British uh, grandparents. Um, they've been birding for years. happened uh, just spending time with them I got into it. I've always uh, felt slightly different in the local birding scene being young female uh, and non-white um, in a sort of a male white dominated birding scene I've definitely felt slightly different uh, felt looked at at events uh, it's quite daunting going in on your own. I've never experienced any discrimination or um, no negative comments but it's just a feeling of maybe being slightly unwelcome that I've always sort of had with me. So I just I just wanted to ask people's opinions and get a conversation started and then um, got a lot of response and it's been it's been very interesting <laughs> to say the least <laughs> Uh, and it was it was really hard actually reading the first few replies that came through. I think oh someone's replied like they've they've um, they want to start a conversation about this and then they say all this neg negative stuff. Uh, it was really hard to read. And then thankfully I had a lot of messages of support privately and then people wading in and um, uh, showing their support. I'm glad I posted it. Um, the negativity was difficult to deal with at first, but I just ignored them and I think. Um, it kind of just proves the point that we need to have these conversations that people aren't as aware as maybe I thought or, or foolishly hoped that people would be. I think nature organisations in the UK have could could really transform this. Um, I think they play a big role in uh, making the, the birding and nature community feel safe and welcoming. Nature organisations need to have uh, clear zero tolerance policies for discrimination, clear action for if anything does happen, um, clear code of conduct for their staff and their volunteers, uh, and then publicising diversity, showing that there are diverse people in nature, showing that there are people like you out there doing what you want to do. Um, I think nature organisations need to be honest, um, and they are they are being discussions with the BTO and with the RSPB, um, being honest that yes, their staff base isn't very diverse, and it is a problem, and it does need to be tackled. So I guess firstly a really big thank you to Sorrel and others for starting this conversation, for challenging us to do better. As an organisation, of course, racism is unacceptable and we need to do more to combat its impacts. Several years ago we looked at equality and diversity in the workforce and we've tried to make progress over the last few years and we've made some, but there's a lot more to do. And not just in RSPB, but across the whole sector. That's one of the reasons that we're supporting the BirdLife International campaign for the right to a healthy environment. What we have to do is make progress faster, do it better. We've got a lot to learn and we've got a lot to do, but I'm hoping that Sorrel and others will help us do better and to do it faster. I think nature organisations in the UK need to work together, uh, have a united effort, um, tackle this issue uh, as a whole, I think that's going to bring about the best change. It's ambitious, but I think it'd be um, the best way to do it. I think it'd be amazing. Have a, a fully resourced inquiry into the barriers that affect people. Um, 
and then uh, and and then that backs up the solutions and showing that the whole community is really devoted to uh, tackling these issues and making nature accessible for everyone.